In this video, we're going to be learning how to allow for student voice in Google Classroom. Now, the first part of this is a setting. So if you go up here to the right, to the little cog or gear, this is your settings menu. As you scroll down under the general section, there is an item labeled stream, which is the stream of your Google Classroom, that initial landing page that you and students come to. Now, there are a few different options for this. You can allow students to both post and comment in the stream. You can allow students to only comment, which means you as the teacher would post items that they could comment on or you can set it up so that only teachers can post or comment. This would maybe be if you're simply just putting out notifications on the stream, or maybe you're alerting them to some things that are coming up in class just for their information, but you don't need them to comment. So all you have to do is select an option. So let's say I only want students to be able to comment. Once I've selected that, I need to make sure I click Save. So that way it retains that setting for me. So right now, students would be able to come in and comment right here. Now, let's say I have a particularly unruly student or a student who's just posting some things or you know commenting um, in an inappropriate way. To fix that, all I do is come up to the People tab. I would select a student. So I'm gonna go ahead and select, let's say Kimberly. So. When I click this box next to Kimberly's name, I come up to Actions and then select Mute. It'll give me a little reminder just to let me know that the student will still be able to submit work, but no one else will see it. They won't be able to reply to classmates' work and they won't be able to comment or post. If you're all right with those things, you would just click Mute. And now you'll notice that next to Kimberly's name, she now has a small red speaker. That means she's been muted. If I need to undo this at any time, I just click that box, go back up to Actions, and click Unmute, and verify it. And now that red speaker has disappeared, which means this student has been unmuted. Now let's say maybe all of your students are abusing this, and you needed to do it all at once. You don't have to go box by box. You can just click this one up next to the Actions box. It will automatically select all the students, and then you could mute all of them. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that though. I'm just gonna undo this. So that is how you allow for student voice in your classroom, or if you need to, how to take it away from students who are abusing it.